who we caught up with while she's on her way to the stakeholder briefing session. Premier, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Can you just briefly tell us, stakeholder meeting, what's that all about? Uh, good morning to viewers and to you, Lumko and Vuyo. Um, the stakeholder engagement is a post-state of the province address a session we are holding with all from civil society uh, leaders in the province. It's a, an attempt by the province to have a buy-in on the programs of government, the support, and to um, solicit their commitment and support to working with us. It also provides us an opportunity for them to engage us on those areas that are not clear, um, where we have to clarify our vision moving forward. Um, and therefore, it's a, it's, a, it's a session to clarify and to have a buy-in from all st stakeholders. In the and world. speaking of clarification, one of the issues, or two issues that have been quite uh, um, in the negative light uh, of recently is, is the health and education. And I know that you mentioned this quite quite, quite at length uh, during your State of the Province address on Friday. Can you just briefly tell us, you say you're here to outline a way forward. What is the way forward? Well, uh, with respect to health, I think everybody now realizes that uh, there is a, a, a turnaround in health. It's live and kicking. Um, our audit outcomes prove as such. All we need to do is to have the support of our communities uh, in the hospitals, ensuring that the hospital boards do their part, um, as well as government um, at head office level doing our part to clean uh, the system. You'd understand that just by ensuring that we read the system of those cruel, uh, corrupt elements, we've been able to save more than 800 million, which has gone now to the service delivery from 56 um, ambulances in the past to 356. That's showing the commitment that whatever we save out of an, uh, good governance um, practices, we will. Uh, direct towards improving um, provision of health. Department of Education, as we speak, um, we have an agreement with Labour, something that has never been there, a commitment for them to work with government, with um, uh, people of the province, to improve um, the quality of learning and teaching. Okay, Premier, uh, if I must just interject, that we're speaking education now. Part of that agreement um, involves reinstating thousands of temporary teachers where earlier it had been said that there is no funds to do such. Is there any sort of indication to say where is this going to come from now? Uh, if you read the agreement quite clearly, it does stipulate time frames that those who would be... Re In fact, it, it, it stipulates that we will reappoint people up to March, um, where we will redirect people from where they are in excess to where they are needed most, where there's a, def a deficit. Uh, this is one of the contributing factors to the low levels of the pass rate, where other learners go without educators, whereas others are parked elsewhere. So this, between now and end of March, that agreement is clearly saying, redirect educators to where you need them. All right, Premier, and then just on a lighter note, this is a very beautiful province in terms of tourism. And can you just briefly outline for us what you're going to be telling the stakeholders and who you want to be buying into the problem? In fact, as, as we speak, um, we, we, after this, we will be meeting potential investors who want to come and invest in this part of the world. Um, some glorious uh, um, institutions that will change drastically the face of the province uh, in terms of beautifying it. Um, and, and therefore, we are galvanizing support even in that area to say we are known to be good people in the province, receptive, um, and therefore we need to ensure that we attract tourists, we invest in tourism because it is also a huge potential for our province. All right, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. In conversation with Eastern Cape Premier Nokolo Kivat.